Continuing now with our coverage of the upcoming health care vote in the House. Some brand new polls, Fox News polls, show that Americans are fed up with what they're seeing in Washington. The congressional approval rating stands at just 18 percent. 31 percent of Americans approve of the job that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is doing, and President Obama's approval rating is at 46 percent, with 48 percent disapproving. But today, he said the cable networks are not focused enough on the substance of the bill and too focused on the politics. What does this mean in November? What does it mean to the poll numbers? Is this more of an advantage for Democrats or Republicans? What's it going to mean for Obama? Will his presidency be crippled? Or will he be, or, 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 or will he be the comeback kid? The question, has the bitter, hyper-partisan health care debate doomed the Democrats, or can they recover in time for the midterm elections in November? Joining us now from Detroit, radio talk show host Nancy Skinner, and from Boston, Democratic strategist Marianne Marsh. Um, let's start with you, Marianne, because you're in the heart of it up there in uh, Massachusetts, and a couple of your congressmen are doing some interesting things on this health care vote. What do you see right now? When you look at the political landscape, you know what these polls are saying. They are devastating for Democrats across the board. Gallup, Pew, Fox, Rasmussen, down the line, people are saying, we don't want this bill, we don't believe it's going to reduce the deficit, and we think it's going to make our health care either not change at all or worse. How can this be good for the Democrats in November? Here's the political calculation, Laura. The fact is Democrats want health care reform, Republicans and independents don't. But the fact is, independents care more about the deficit than anything else. That's why Obama's lost 17 points over this last year with independents. It's all over the deficit. So if Democrats can convince just some independents that the health care reform bill will reduce the deficit, they can win in November. That's the bet right there. Hold the Democrats, hold your base, pick off some independents. That's the formula for the, the elections in November. Nancy, the Fox poll shows that the support for Obamacare has slipped since January. It was somewhere the disapproval uh, has gone up, the approval has, uh, has uh, this approval has gone up, approval has gone down. So now 55 percent oppose the health care plan. That's since January. Again, where is the momentum here and how is this <laughs> playing positively for the Democrats? I think they've made a huge miscalculation. It's the first time you've seen the poll shift to, to those points you're talking about in the Fox poll itself since it was introduced in January of 09. In fact, when it, this is the, the deal, polls changed. When it was first introduced and for almost a year, even Republicans supported this bill in the Fox News poll. Uh, and, and gradually, with all the fear-mongering that's going out there, all the trashing of it, you, this is the first time, and you have, as, as your guest said, you have 80% of Democrats favor it, 80% of Republicans don't. It, the, independence by We're two points two points two points that is not a huge you keep saying a huge a majority of americans two point of independence well, is the nancy, difference that's the nancy the why do you think rejection? that 31 percent of americans think that nancy pelosi is not doing a good job why do you think but, that you know what? By b even bigger numbers, they think that the Republicans in Congress are just trying to block Obama and that they're doing a lousy job. Yes, no, she gets a, doesn't get She's the leader of the Democrat Party. She gets a 31 percent approval rating. And you can say, well, the Republicans this, Republicans that, but the Republicans are not in charge. The Democrats are in charge. And because right now, an, across the board, an and whether you're looking at state-by-state state polls, internal polls uh, in these tough uh, districts, and Marianne, you can address this, Places like Ohio, Illinois, uh, some of those old Rust Belt states. I'm looking at some of these numbers from uh, the Gingrich Group, I think, did some polling on this. And it's not, it really is not close on this issue, yet I guess the base wants it, so the base gets it regardless of what happens in November. Dick Morris just said they don't care about Congress right now. They think they're going to lose Congress in November, but they need to push this through. Is that the calculation? <laughs> No, I, I look, Democrats are going to take a loss in November, no doubt. The fact is that, you know, it's an anti-incumbent year. And here's the Repu what the Republicans know. They're going to lose seats, too, because it's a hugely anti-incumbent year. You look at the Fox News poll on that question, and if I'm a Republican or a Democrat, I'm really worried. But here's what they both know. Democrats just can't win with Democratic votes. Republicans just can't win with Republican votes. They all need independent votes, and they know it. And that's where this deficit score by the CBO is a key play here. Democrats, if they can convince independents, then they can win. They're going to lose seats, right, but, but they can they mitigate those credibility losses by on doing that, that. Though, today. 
Right, Marianne, I, no. I, I hear your point on that, but Nancy, you can address this. Today we learned that Nancy Pelosi is going to call for a vote on the doctor's fix, which, which means about $200, $230 billion of the supposed savings aren't going to occur because the doctor's going to get increased reimbursements under Medicare. That's going to happen. That's what she said. She's going to, she's going to put this forward and push this forward as everyone suspected she would. So well, where are all the are savings? Happen. You know, if, you, if we enact that the public option... That doesn't matter to you? There'll be huge that doesn't savings. matter to you? If the public option, that's competition, which is a good thing. Competition. But listen, but one But that doesn't here, matter Laura, to you about I the deficit? You know, don't switch grounds here. Does that matter no. to you or not? That, she I, I don't, that the I don't president know. goes out that's, today and says that this is going to be the biggest deficit, um, deficit reducer as far as re legislation the, the in American that. history. The, no, no the oh, CBO, President Obama said number. that today. Do you, right, you don't have a problem with the doctor's fix then? 1.2 trillion dollars over two decades okay all right you know here's the thing i gotta put this in as soon as this bill passes and people oh, yeah. with pre-existing conditions get covered and 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 yeah. small businesses get coverage and college students can stay on their parents they will be happy and these polls will change just like the war in iraq completely flip people will be happy and all this fear mongering will be over democrats will do just fine. i'm willing i'm willing just in good faith to take take bets on this right now. I don't think we can do it, but okay. ladies, it's great to see you. <laughs> and directly ahead, an undecided nice. Democrat jumps into the yes camp, but was he promised amnesty for illegals in return? Congressman Luis Gutierrez will be here in